All right, everybody, welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today, I'm going to answer the question of how do you connect your Xbox One screen to your uh, PC or laptop. And it's, there's a couple different ways to do this, but today I'm just going to go into one, one of the best ways to do it. Um, if you're gaming and stuff and you want to be able to watch it on your actual laptop or your PC screen, this is going to be the video for you. Also, you can also um, capture your video, your gameplay, through OBS on your computer while doing this too. So that's another good thing that you can do. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, turn on and post notifications. It really helps us out. And let's get right into showing you how to get your Xbox screen onto your computer or laptop. Now, real quick, um, this is for Windows 10, if you have Windows. Um, if you don't have Windows, I'm not positive on this, if you can still do it this way, but I don't think so. I'm sure there's another way to do this. But today is for the Windows 10 users. First thing you're going to want to do, guys, is you want to come to your Start menu. And either right here or in here somewhere, you're going to want to look for Xbox Console Companion. Now, it might be downloaded. It might not be downloaded. If you don't have it downloaded, just Google it. Um, Google Xbox Console Companion Windows 10, and it'll take you and where you can get it. But pretty sure you can get It's already going to be in your Windows 10 start menu. So it's right here. You can uh, right-click on it and go to More. And you can pin it to your taskbar. You can pin it to the start menu which is right here the taskbar is down here or you can just come here and drag it and let it go like I have it right here but now let's open it up guys I'm gonna show you exactly what this does so now I might do a split screen I got my Xbox running and I also got my uh, PC running so my Xbox is on I already connected my Xbox to this account so if you haven't already, you're going to want to come to the left-hand side and come down here to Connection. You're going to click on that, and you're going to click Add a Device. Then it'll search for the devices, and then you just pick which one you want. Mine's named Xbox One. You know, you might have a different name for yours. And once it's connected, it's going to be right here. You can pick from your different devices. I only have the one, but... If I were to have my other Xbox hooked up to this, it would have two different ones here. So you got to make sure you pick the right one. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is you want to click Test Streaming. So then you click Start Test. And what this is doing is just letting you see how fast the connections are. And it's just testing the connections. And then once it's done, you know, it might take a couple minutes, guys. So if it's taking a little bit, don't worry. It does it to me, too. So you just wait till it's done. Don't mess with it. Don't close down the app. And it says it right here. Don't leave page or nothing. So we're just going to wait for this to finish up. And I'm going to get back to you and show you what it shows when you're done. Okay, now that you got it done, guys, this is what it looks like here. Um. If it shows these black X's, that is not good. I just want to show you what it looked like with this. I'm usually going to have four green check marks or three green check marks. But because of this, all you got to do is just go back, test it again, um, and then you know, you'll be able to stream. I just wanted to show the black check marks, show you what it would look like um, so that you're not freaked out when it happens because it happens kind of a lot. So if you test it, it doesn't work, test it again, it should go. Um, other than that, after you do that, then all you got to do, guys, is click Stream. Click Continue. And let me mute this real quick. All right, click Continue, and then you're good to go. Now you got your controller. I got my Xbox controller now, just moving around, playing the game. You can do whatever you want to do. Um... And you're streaming, you're recording. You got your OBS running in the background. You can click stop streaming here. Got OBS running in the background, so we're capturing everything. We're capturing our screen. We're capturing our audio in the mic. Um, you can capture the desktop audio too. 
Um, I don't like doing that a lot. Um, unless I do, I'll put it very low because it kind of drowns out your voice when you're doing it. But this is basically the Xbox One console companion app. It's got all types of stuff. You know, just basically you're connected your Xbox account on your computer. You can do the streams. You can do all types of other stuff. Look at the games, trending, go to the store, Microsoft store. You can switch your settings from here. Okay, you can go through and switch a bunch of settings that you want. You can go to your actual profile. And you can actually change your name for free right now because they switch systems, I think. And they gave me a free name change, so I changed it to Fort Gaming YouTube. Um... I'm gonna have I have another YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. I don't really have too many videos up yet, but it's gonna be you know Fortnite gaming, all types of other stuff. So check that out if you're interested. But I just want to give you a quick little rundown on Xbox Console Companion. Again, guys, don't get this mixed up. Let me come down here and show you. Don't get this mixed up with this Xbox app or the Xbox Game Bar. It's completely different. I'm going to do another video on this soon too, guys, so be sure to check for that. And then the other Xbox One is different also. They all got their own uses. You guys can play around with them yourself and see which ones you like. But comment down below if this video helped you out. Learning the Xbox console companion. Learning how to record your screen while you're playing your Xbox. and Learning how to put your... TV screen onto your PC or your laptop. I think that about does it for today's video, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. I'll let you know every time I come out with a brand new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.